we have these promises of God that He says that I'm the Lord, I will take care of you and I'll deliver you from all your fears. Then He says, His promise says, those who look to me are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. You see, your, your, you know, the face will always glow when we have Christ in us. Somehow we are different from the other people that do not know Christ. We can see the difference. If we, when we have our, in Christ in us, our body, our, our, our face just shine, you know. And then the heart, uh, whatever we have, anything that happened in the world, we always have the humility in our heart and we have the sadness and passion to feel for how the people going through that if they lost loved one or whatever it is. So he says, then the Lord promised that the angel of the Lord and came around those who fear him and he delivers them. See? So this God that we 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 honor one, he say, Oh taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. You see, we are never alone. We are always Emmanuel. The Lord promises I'm always with you all. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Anything that you do, I'm always with us. With us, he's with us, Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah even uh, like Matthew 28, 18 said, go to the world to preach the gospel. That's our job to do, you know. But how we want to reach out to people is the Holy Spirit guidance. With our own strength, we cannot do it. See, so only the Spirit prompting. Uh, you just uh, speak. Give, the Lord will give us the courage to speak. See, so he said, the young lion suffered one and hunger. But those who seek the Lord let no good thing. You see, his promises. You see, he says that you all, you don't lack of anything. You know, I am the Lord, I supply. So he said, come, old children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desire life and loves many good days that he may see good? So he says, so promises, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Okay, turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. See, so whatever we encounter, uh, all sorts of things, we will not try to fight or whatever because we just commit it to the Lord. Just say, Lord, I commit to you this problem that we are encountering because you are the one that will provide. Even though anything, anything that we do, always as I said, no, no, always because obstacle. But the Lord, Lord said, I'll open door. See, so Proverbs 16 verse 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plan will succeed. All these are promises from the Lord's word, okay? So the Lord said, The eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous, and His ears towards their pride. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Cut off the memory of them from the earth. You see? You see how the Lord said, His word says, The people who are wicked, they will not be found anymore. They will be gone, dead and gone. We don't know how, but the Lord will do. You see? So like now it's happening with the eyes of We don't worry. God is in control, you see? So you see, God is in control every person that we take a life. God says, a life is for a life, right? We don't know what the Lord will do. But somehow here says that for those who do evil, the memory of them from the, will be cut off from the earth. So when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. You see, it's the promise of the word of God says, you are in trouble, but you must talk to me, speak to me, and I will help you out of whatever situation you are going through. You don't take the burden yourself and keep it yourself. And then you harbor inside your body, your pain, your hurt, nobody knows. But if you speak to the openly, say, Lord, because the curtain has been broken, right, when, when he was crucified. So the curtain has been broken, we can go directly to him and speak to him. In true prayer, something like a communication to the Lord. I'm sure the Lord will hear. So the Lord says, you all never come to seek me. You seek me, I will, you will find me, but you don't seek me. Then the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and save the crushed in spirit. That's what I just saying. So many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them. You see, how difficult we go through, whatever we go, but the Lord will deliver us out from whatever situation we are in. Then even says the bones, even say felt, he keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. I went to Israel at a fall, okay? You all see me, I'm a normal person, right? I'm walking normal, right? But I had a fall in Israel. But the God healed me, you see? That God healed me, you know? The pastor said, Lord, restore. My leg went like that. Pia, the bone went back. If you don't know what happened, yeah. the foot went, yeah. foot oh, 90 went degrees. 90 degrees the other side. Yeah. Came out, everything came out. See, I'm walking normal. But it's because of my thing and of God healed me. Okay? When I was in Israel. And then when the doctor see me, eh, the doctor asked me, your bones uh, disengaged already, but we need to catch it back. Do you want to do it in Israel? So all the people, the tour guide, all the tour leaders, 
don't do it, go back to Singapore. Then when I was lying there, uh, that, that, that all of them went holiday, I was lying there. I said, Lord, I'm alone in the hospital. But they're all there. But the Lord said, I'm with you, don't worry. And when I was lying in the hospital, uh, the doctor cannot do anything because I don't want your operation. I lie there with the, with the, the bandage, uh, my leg, uh, leg when I, yeah, leg hanging. My leg, when I came back, uh, the doctor said, fantastic, why? Nothing, no swell, nothing. See how God takes care of me? 11 days, you know, like that, just like that. And I came back, you know, nothing. The doctor said, fantastic. Wow, she's so fantastic. I said, my God, look after me. And you swell. Because no swell, nothing. You know? <coughs> fantastic, right? This God that we serve is really an awesome God. One more, one more thing about the hospital. She's, yeah. she's in the company of Jews. Jews. All the Jews, right? Speak. In the hospital. Yeah. Oh, so she cannot talk to people. But there were Singaporeans who knew about it, visited her. Yeah. And some of the Singaporeans are people who told her. Because we visited her. Then we wring our hands together. Because we travel about 70, 80 kilometers away. We come back once. We cannot come back so many times. We tell them we have to you one <laughs> twice. And we have to keep going. God will take care of you. So we sang some songs. We sang them some songs and prayer. You know actually what happened? We touched the people who don't understand what they're saying. See? Yeah, the Jews are. Uh, because uh, I was in the hospital bed, and this is a Jew lady, I'm here. We cannot talk, right? We cannot action on it. Hot, hot. She also hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> then when her family came, family make drinks, orange, everything. Everything I have shared, all give to me. Eh? We can't talk. No? But they are so kind and generous. Eh? Then they give. Then they all after the tour, during one of the days, they all came and then surrounded me, you know, all hands like that. The lady's daughter, tears came down. You know what? The next day she came, she told me, can't talk. I see you, you all hold hands. Wow, my tears come down. We don't no need to talk, you see. We just do the action and I've touched lives already. See, then I had the best nurse you know, fly from Paris to look after me. And I have the best hotel. Like a hotel, hospital like a hotel, first class. <laughs> All the people who came said, Halama, I also want to be in this. <laughs> I said, I don't want. I said, I don't want. This is a hotel. Hospital. See, the Lord took care of me. Everything was the best. And when I came home, I fly home. You know I fly in what? Business class. <laughs> and, then, and then all the, 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 the lady who took care of me, take all the blankets of everybody, I put my leg, because my leg cannot, cannot still have my life to like that. <laughs> all the way to Singapore. See how God is supposed to take care of me. Yeah. But we thank God we have a group of people that all godly, God's children uh, that supported me. Even to go for a tour, uh, I was there, there, but God sent people to visit me. Because a pastor in the church said, those who are in Israel go and visit me. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So God really take care of his children. Uh. So in Psalm 34... Wait, wait, wait. I like to backtrack one more step. <laughs> backtrack. He went. When, when we were in Israel, this lady asked for a miracle. <laughs> and a miracle It's so good to 